And prevention is the focus of what's going around this week. I talked with Dr. Mike Patrick from Nationwide Children's Hospital. Uh, he's an expert in emergency medicine. I talked with him about making swimming season this year a safe one from pools to ponds to lakes or the ocean. Medical experts again say the number one way to protect your family in the water is to ensure that everyone knows how to swim. And these experts say swim lessons can start when children are old enough to understand and follow directions. Dr. Mike, for his part, says it's about layers of protection. Lessons are the foundation. Next, and perhaps the biggest layer, is direct supervision by an adult for a group of children. And that's in addition to the lifeguard. They're scanning and they're doing the absolute best job that they can. But also remember, drownings often are a quiet occurrence. So kids slip under the water, get themselves disoriented. There's oftentimes not a big, loud splash associated with it or lots of noise. So you can't really trust that. So you really want a set of eyes on your group of kids. And you can take turns with other parents so that everyone gets a chance to get in and watch the group and, of course, be ready to alert a lifeguard if something does go wrong. Keep in mind, there is a study from an aquatic safety group that was conducted where they tested different swimsuit colors underwater. We heard a little bit about this in a, a couple of weeks ago, and their results show neon colors were most visible under 18 inches of water in a pool or a lake. Now, Swimming Safety is the first of our Summer Break Week series. Tomorrow, we have strategies on how to avoid the summer slide. Wednesday, Police Chief Elaine Bryant talks summer youth violence in Columbus. And then we'll wrap up the end of the week with Consumer 10 on grocery savings for the kids at home, plus summer freebies for the family. That's coming on Friday. So